Hello chums, and happy new year to all Kings of War fans. Please feel free to imagine a hilarious jape here about how isn't it great 2020's over and all that madness is behind us. Well, Christmas may have been a strain for some, but Mantic have leapt athletically to the rescue with a series of holiday blogs rammed with upcoming content. There's one for each of their major franchises, but I think we all agree the only important ones are the ones with the sexy new Rat King models in them. I mean, who wants dwarf ships for Armada anyway? Oh, you do. Weirdo. Remember last year? Uh, Jortle. <clears throat> okay, last update, where I talked about the Ronnie the Bard of Mantica Facebook group, which is being mysterious about something big. Well, anyway, they let the cat out of the bag and are going to be running a regular Panathor fiction submission competition where winning entries by amateur authors will feature in a regularly published anthology. Something like that, anyway. Get scribbling, amateur authors. There's been a couple of blog updates. I've featured tons of blogs on these updates over the last year or so, but rarely can be asked to go back and check on them, because amongst other things, I'm hysterically lazy. Anyway, when people post their updates to social media, I always love to see it. Sebastian Richard Reeves has updated his blog with a roundup of his gaming year, such as it was. I've met him, and he's a lovely chap, plus his blog is a good read, so why not give it a look? And stalwart of the Kings of War blogosphere Danny Graves is back with another update to his ever-entertaining Grow Older Don't Grow Up blog. He's interviewed professional mini-painter Ben McIntyre, who's painted many of the models you see in Mantic product shots. Incidentally, if you want to check out Ben's work, his Facebook page is called Brush Demon. Back in August 2019, Captain Kino. Mr. Kino, Kano, Kano, Ken, Ken, no? Anyway, he posted the start of his undead army in the Kings of War forums, which he was going to slow grow to 2,000 points. Well, he's still at it, with the latest post being a regiment of revenants. It's been so cool to see this army grow over time, and I hope he keeps up his updates. Chris Colburn has updated a Counts as Gorblight for his undead, and mainly I think it's cool as hell because I've not seen models with LEDs for ages, and I'm very, very easily impressed by flashing lights. Nice. Ben Stoddard has been busy posting his latest work, and the Shadow Hulk particularly looks the part. Fab work and a lovely glowing orange. The fantastically named Cole Powers has whacked up a couple of pictures of his Silver Breeze cavalry, which are magnificently dynamic, plus I am a sucker for lush yellow armour. Jesse Bilbija, 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 whatever, has been going hobby crazy, and has developed a really eye-catching colour scheme for his undead force, which I think works magnificently well. Now I've been trying super hard to feature models by people we might not have heard of before or might not have seen on the update, but I've got one hell of a weak spot for Chris Walsh, and so I couldn't help just slipping this one in at the end. Unusually for him, this is a completely unmodified model, but it does give you an opportunity to admire his utterly unique painting style. Well, that's it for this week. I'm off to stare in wide-eyed horror at the world we, and I'm not sure how, actually live in. <laughs>